I would like Karma Lux. Karma got a little nerfed, but it's still a good deck. It's still a good deck. Is that a Packers towel? No, it's just it's just a yellow, like absorbent towel. It's I don't know why it's reflecting. I don't know why. Maybe the light's making it green for some reason, but it's it's a straight yellow towel. It's not bad. Fight or die. Thing is, he also has Ionia. So, aww, but I'm sorry. You know as well as the rest of us, as soon as you switch to a deck that counters high revive, you will start running into everyone else. Right? Because that's just how it always goes. I'll do this. He probably wants to do... Really? Nothing on turn three. It's actually... Kind of funky. Deep Meditation for five. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Wow, he did it! He didn't draw anything! He didn't draw anything! with uh should get a green towel I'll look into it for sure I'll look into it so look now we go against something that's not OTK control and we're not playing a mid-range like mid-range against that I probably would have had a much better shot uh do I actually hold on to Fury of the North I don't think I do puts a Yeti in my deck really that's oh it's a 1-5-5 five, five, so that makes sense um do I keep this then I have a one to. Yeah, actually, I'll keep this. Because if I can drop the Yeti, draw a card off of it. There's a two drop. It's not. Okay, I'm going to have a good turn two, turn three. All those. It's a fine trade. It's a fine trade there. Six of lead, not bad. Now here's the thing. Yeah, I blocked that. I don't want him to get a plunder. I was like, I could let him do the two and have a better thing for next turn. But I think this is fine. I also gotta start saving some mana for like elixir. It's on you. Okay. So when you wipe the face, it disappears. I've got your back. Okay. I got Sedge and Vled. See, this is also nice because it's five mana than six mana, so it's two big bombs right back to back. Guns blazing. Um. Actually, doing this. And then that? Oh no, it doesn't it doesn't take or it, it doesn't pop the shield, there's no point. I'll do this. Yeah, the shield doesn't get popped. I'll block like this. That's a lot of surviving damage. Okay. Survives, survives, survives. I'd never keep my guests waiting. Alright, let's mess some folks up. I think I just want to do this. It doesn't do anything, but it's a 6-6. Six, six. If he tries to block it, I get to... Okay. So just 6 damage, that's fine. Absolutely fine with me. Here we go. Just to make sure I kill it. Love ya. Five damage. Yeah, I got a big, I got a big board now, don't I? One destiny. I'll draw two cards. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Is it what four? Yeah. <laughs> Grant the barrier. 
so it's it's dead regardless. Because most I can make it as an 8, so... But it's fine. I have... He's he's blown a lot of resources, and I have Sejuani for next turn. Bow to no one. So I'm actually A-OK -okay with this. And if anything, I can just Culling Strike it. Soldiers, to me! Stand and fight! Do I do this? I don't think he has anything to really kill it. Yeah. Let it flow. Yeah! The like all the other good early game minions, I just don't really think he's worth it. Okay, so once again, this is a, like... Do I keep Culling Strike for, uh, uh, what's-her-face, Elise? Yeah, like, the the curves and the tempo this deck puts out is really good. Like, I don't have a one-drop, but I still have two, three, four, like, I have, I have good turns. And that one-drop means nothing to my 3-1 with tough. You gonna attack? Oh. Nothing escapes my one. This land is out. I gotta get out of here. <sighs> I'm actually fine with that one. That fight. Survive damage, which is the key part of this whole deck, so it's pretty good. Babbling Beard also is really nice to be drawing either a Yeti or one of your heroes. Must have got a bad hero or something. Yeah, maybe you got Shark Cherry. I know how that feels, man. You got that. Okay, that's even worse. That's amazing. That's the one you got off of it. Okay. Okay. That's pretty funny. The trap is set. Hot on the I mean, if I attack with this, he just kills it, right? But then I still have a 3-3 on board. Do I ever... Yeah, I think I do. It's still tempo, and it's damage through to Sejuani. He's not blocking it anyway. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's, uh... Yeah, Sejuani. Vladimir triggers. All amazing. That's actually pretty good. Brooding spider. Okay. Okay. Will no one listen? Poor man's gone mad. I love the voice interactions between these cards. There's such cool voice interactions that like are hidden in the game that you have to just play the cards together to figure out them out. It's so cool. I love it so much. He's not even attacking. Okay. Interesting. You know what? Your call, man. Stay back. I mean, I'll put a Yeti out. Yeti seems fine. You know? Yeti seems like a fine card. For real. More, more spiders, huh? No way. Gotcha. You got a bunch of 3-3s three there. So, 2-2-2-2, 3-3, 3-3, 3-3, or 3-3, one, three, 3-1. One. So I kill all of his 3-1s, one minion lives. And I got a 2-1 spider left after this. Am I actually okay with that? I think so. I think I'm okay with these spider trades. He's he's just triggering my Vlad. He must have a Vile Feast in hand or something. Like, I don't know. He's probably got a Vile Feast. That's what my... Otherwise, I don't know why he would just willingly let my Vlad go up like that. Flat it up. Like I want, I wanted to. Oh, that's nice. If he does kill a bunch of things here, yeah. There's the withering whale. This stays alive, and this stays alive. They walked around. Which hey, perfectly fine with. I actually want to draw. Oh no, wait. Yeah, I'll do this. I'll Vlad. I've dressed leaky. Next turn I can do that and draw. Draw three cards off that. Man, that just feels so strong. Line up. Feels so strong. Oh, look at this. You see the power I hold in my hands? He only killed three minions off that withering whale too, so like it wasn't even that. No way. Alright. 
Yeah, yeah, no, that's... I mean, you got two mana. You got a spider, Vile Feast. I'm okay with that, actually. Leave nothing standing. Yes! He has no idea what's coming for him. That's exactly right. He has no idea the pain that I'm about to cause him. Best part is, I even get to do it to a tough unit so it doesn't die. Strength through suffering. Oh. And then I'm back at 20. And I get to land my Omen Hawk. Yeah, I never would have thought about putting the Yetis in, but the Yetis are just amazingly powerful cards. Oh, another Transfusion. That's such a good card. Okay, so he's got a They Who Endure. Up there in the mountains. Oh, Sedge. So I need to get rid of my Vlad here. It's the only way. One suffers another thrive. Which is fine. Um... I only take 4 off this, which means next turn he can't Atrocity and I can Sejuani it. Because I'll be at 16. After all these I'll even lay that too. Strikes. He's got 2 mana, he can make a Spider if he wants. The thing is I have Sejuani, which is going to make that 0, and then I just have a board. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Okay. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Words to die by! So that's two. Lovely day for a battle. That's two of those who endure. Vile Feast, okay. And Glints from Beyond, okay. And with these things having Overwhelm as well, it's just... He was dead no matter what. But this deck was not made to... Oh, okay! This guy's playing with Braum, which actually intrigues me because I want to know how well Braum is. Uh, turn one, turn two with a transfusion. I'm okay with this. I really want to play Heimer. No, Heimer is ridiculously strong. Heimer did not get a nerf, so it's just it's Heimer's just gonna be good. Okay. Let's see what he does on turn two. Try to understand. I Interesting. Delicious. I'd ask your name, but I don't care. Look what you did. This deck just feels so much fun. This is a this is a guy. That's someone that I was always like, I wonder how good that guy is. I wonder how good he is. Let's get a good look at you. He's probably got a Fury of the North. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't have Fury of the North here. He doesn't have Fury of the North. Wow. I found my family, my bloodkin. Amazing. Fight or die. Hello, my darling. He's got his own Vlad, so that doesn't kill Vlad. The Winter's Claw. Not the face. Such a pretty thing. Do I kill Vlad? I think I kill Vlad. I think I just 100% kill Vlad. Oh my god, I can even survive Vlad. Um, actually no. No, 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 no. Because if he does something, I want to be able to... Because, I mean, he might just have another transfusion too. Yep. One suffers, another thrives. Which is exactly what I thought might happen. I'll have that survive. Vlad won't die. But this will. I 
I don't think that deck has anything to do with like one damage to anything. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are absolutely Hey, Cecilia, how's it going? Let it flow. Let's see what you've got. So that's gonna go down to two. If he does nothing. Take heart, sure. No, that makes sense. But at least that dies along with it. So oh, this hurts. these are all good trades for me. Only the finest serve. Well, you'll live, probably. Let me show you. I want to lay this and keep mana open for calling strike. Destruction feeds my fire. I don't think I can allow him to have that. As much as that actually benefits me to have that. Alright. Alright. We did it, guys! <laughs>